I'm not a set designer, but they made they they built a damn good set, especially of 10 Downing Street, from I would imagine next to nothing. So I think the production side of the team were very resourceful. The hardest thing about being in room 36 was the cold. I remember freezing. Um, just never feeling warm. Um, that's an exaggeration. Quite often not feeling warm because it was being filmed in a warehouse and it was just freezing. Once we'd run out of uh, black and white reversal stock, uh, we were very mindful that we had to have some technical continuity, otherwise there would be problems further down the road. And I always remember saying, well, we just shoot another 16mm um, uh, roll of film. Uh, until Dave Reed said, well, not really, because remember the tests we did? They're, they're, they're really grainy, you can't use them. And in hindsight, he was right. The only way we could get something to match was to shoot 35mm. I had some 35mm colour rolls of film left over from another production. And it was like, but it's in colour. And it's like, well, there's about four rolls of it, five rolls in there. It's going to save us, I don't know, 1,500 quid. So we used it always with the thought of maybe later on doing what's called a panchromatic uh, neg to turn it black and white. But yeah, we'll be able to afford it later on. So we actually shot it in colour at the time. But uh, led to a lot of problems. How are you? Oh, fine. So glad you could make it at such short notice. The whole thing had to be post sunk, um, but rather than do a proper main post sync session, we said, well, we'll just do a quick temp one. Uh, we get all the actors in just to very quickly look at the film and then just give us a quick, needn't be, you know, 100%. Uh, so we did that and it did tidy the sound up quite a lot. So not a bad little temp mix, um, and that was screened at Fox, you know, double head um, picture and uh, magnetic sound uh, format.